dear students after studying this module you shall be able to understand the applications of uv visible spectroscopy in forensic sciences application of uv visible spectroscopy in forensic science forensic drug analysis deals with the identification and quantification of illegal drugs the testing of drugs is generally carried out in two steps namely screening and confirmation uv visible spectroscopy is widely used as a very significant tool for both qualitative and the quantitative drug analysis some of the applications of uv visible spectroscopy in forensic sciences as discussed analysis of narcotics and drug testing analysis of narcotics and related drugs is an important part of forensic science uv visible molecular absorption is routinely used for the analysis of narcotics and for drug testing the presence of these drugs can be confirmed from their absorption maxima that is lambda max or by comparing the uv visible spectra of these drugs with the spectra of an authentic sample the value of lambda max in nanometers for various abusive drugs is given here in the table it can be seen that the drugs like cocaine in 0.2 normal h2so4 shows an absorption maxima at 233 nanometers codeine in water at 284 nanometers ecstasy or mdma in ethanol shows an absorption maxima at 286 nanometers and hence forth the other drugs as tabulated here determination of alcohol in blood uv visible spectroscopy can be used for quantitative estimation of blood alcohol using the breath analyzer test in this test the sample of breath of a person is passed through a acidic solution of potassium dichromate which is orange in color potassium dichromate in acidic medium is an oxidizing agent and it oxidizes ethanol to acetic acid while dichromate ions get reduced to green colored chromium ions the concentration of ethanol in the breath sample is determined by the decrease in absorbance at 440 nanometers around which the dichromate ion absorbs using this value by using lambert beer's law the concentration of alcohol can be then measured ink analysis ink analysis is one of the areas of forensic questioned document aims at comparing identifying characterizing and discriminating ink obtained from writing instrument used to write on a document ink becomes an important forensic evidence when it is written on a document suspected to be associated with the criminal activities such as threatening letters insurance frauds and will frauds the examination of different inks and their classification can be easily done with uv visible spectra of the pen inks this is much simple and quick to perform as compared to any other method of ink analysis such as chromatographic and spectroscopic techniques drug overdose study the drug overdose may lead to death the cases of drug overdose can be studied by uv visible spectroscopy for example overdose of aspirin can be studied by studying the uv visible spectra of blood plasma of a person with overdose of aspirin aspirin is prepared by acetylation of salicylic acid using acetic anhydride it is used as a drug for many purposes like analgesic to reduce pain anti inflammatory to reduce inflammation anti pyretic to reduce temperature and platelet aggregation inhibitor to thin the blood and stop clotting therapeutic levels taken after the heart attack 
are typically 150 to 300 milligrams per liter and for post bypass operations it is 75 milligrams per liter. The levels of salicylate present in the blood plasma can be analyzed using UV visible spectroscopy to indicate if the subject has taken a therapeutic dose or an overdose. This method involves measuring the absorbance of the red-violet complex of ferric and salicylate ions at about 530 nanometers using a UV visible spectrometer. Analysis of carboxyhemoglobin in forensic blood samples. Carbon monoxide is colorless, tasteless, odorless and non-irritating and hence it is exposure and intake in human beings is impossible to detect. When inhaled, carbon monoxide is instantly absorbed from the lungs into the bloodstream and has a highly toxic effect. In the bloodstream, the carbon monoxide slowly forms a reversible complex with the hemoglobin known as carboxyhemoglobin. The presence of carboxyhemoglobin in the blood decreases its oxygen carrying capacity and hence reduces the availability of oxygen to the blood tissue, resulting in the tissue hypoxia. It may even lead to death which can be explained as follows. The increase in the level of carboxyhemoglobin reduces the oxygen delivery. It is worsened by impaired perfusion resulting from hypoxic cardiac dysfunction. This further potentially damages the cellular oxidative metabolism and hence leads to death. The binding of carbon monoxide with heme chromophore affects its absorption in the UV visible region. That is why the level of carboxyhemoglobin can be determined by UV visible spectra of a blood sample of a person with suspected carbon monoxide poisoning. Total hemoglobin can be measured by performing a reaction of the hemoglobin present with the potassium cyanide to form a hemoglobin cyanide complex. In this method, hemoglobin is reacted with potassium cyanide to form a hemoglobin cyanide complex. This complex has a peak at around 546 nanometers which can be measured and quantitated. Forensic determination of metals by UV visible spectroscopy. Iron, aluminium and copper are three metals which are most widely used for fabricating various articles of daily need. These elements are found as a part of almost every weapon, tools and metal shards in crime scenes. Thus, the forensic investigation of these metal ions is an important area of study. Weapons often used in robberies to cut metals or in murders. The investigation of crime scenes often reveal the presence of these metal ions, usually on clothing of a suspect. Other metals such as lead, arsenic or sometimes encountered at the industrial workplace and many times used as poisons. Arsenic salts are commonly used as insecticides in houses. In addition to these metal ions are also found in paints, dyes, explosives such as gunpowder and in glass. The presence and the concentration of these metal ions can be easily measured by UV visible spectroscopy using various methods as summarized here in table. Aluminium, it reacts with aerochrome black, aerochrome cyanide R dye at pH 6 to form a red to pink complex and shows a lambda max at 535 nanometers. Arsenic, on reaction with zinc, arsenic reduces to arsenic hydride which reacts with silver to form red color complex diethyl dithiocarbamate which again shows an absorbance at the lambda max of 535 nanometers. Cadmium, on reaction with chloroform solution of dithizone in presence of sodium hydroxide 
give a pink to red complex. It shows an absorption of 518 nanometers. Chromium. Chromium-6 reacts with diphenyl carbazide to give red-violet complex. Absorption at 540 nanometers. Lead. On reaction with chloroform, solution of dithiazone in presence with ammonia gives a cherry red complex. Absorption at 510 nanometers. Mercury on reaction with chloroform solution of dithiazone under the acidic conditions gave orange complex at 492 nanometers. Copper reacts with neocuprine in neutral to slightly acid solution and extract into chloroform and methanol forms a yellow complex. Again, the absorption at 457 nanometer. Examination of blood stains by UV visible spectroscopy. At crime scenes, especially related to murder, the most significant of the evidence for the forensic investigator are blood stains. The sample of blood stain collected from the crime scene can be used for DNA profiling for ver verifying the suspect's identity as well as for the pattern analysis in order to reconstruct the crime. UV visible spectroscopy method can be used to study the blood stains by detecting the presence of enzyme activity in the stain. There is a higher activity of enzymes lactate dehydrogenase, commonly called as LDH, glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase, commonly called as GOT, and glutamic pyruvic transaminase, GPT, in blood stains than in the serum. Also, there is a comparable activity in completely hemolyzed blood. This forms the basis for the use of UV visible spectroscopy method for analysis of blood stains. Using a combination of LDH GOT and GOT GPT ratios, the age estimation up to 12 weeks after formation of the blood stain has been established. In this method, Removal of the blood stain followed by the extraction with saline is done. The sample so prepared is then subjected to labeling of the enzymes and is detected at the wavelength of 340 nanometers. It is important to note that GOT GPT ratio remains stable over the first weeks while the LDH GOT ratio is initially high greater than 10 and decreases to the ratio of 5 after 8 weeks. Forensic discrimination of dyed textile fibers using UV visible spectroscopy. In incidents involving personal contact such as homicide, assault and sexual offenses as well as hit and run accidents and other crimes, fibers are often encountered as a trace evidence. Objects Peripherally associated with crimes such as weapons or cars involved in the armed robberies, etc. are also most often have fibers associated with them as a trace evidence. From forensic point of view, the knowledge of chemistry of fibers and fiber dyes is very important for both that is as the basis of fiber identification and for the forensic relevance of the various fiber dye combinations. The UV visible spectroscopy offers a significant contribution to differentiate between the various types of fibers and dyes. The UV visible spectroscopy of the trace evidence as fiber collected from the crime scene can be easily matched with the reference spectra of the known fiber materials and dyes. For example, here in the figure, it shows the UV visible spectra of the various fibers. Quantitative determination of hemoglobin in tooth and bone sample by UV visible spectroscopy. In forensic investigations, the detection and the quantification of hemoglobin in the skeletal or dried remains can be very significant. This can be achieved with the help of UV visible spectroscopy using leucocrystal violet dye.
for example extraction of hemoglobin from a femur bone by can be done using 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid and from a tooth it can be done by using 6.0 molar urea a valid product is obtained when these extractions are treated with leuco crystal violet using the measured absorbance at 590 nanometers of each extraction the corresponding amount of hemoglobin in each sample can be determined uv visible spectrum of extract containing hemoglobin is shown here in the figure the spectrum of a leuco crystal violet dye reaction with 1.0 micromolar hemoglobin to summarize uv visible spectroscopy provides an important method for both qualitative and quantitative analysis in forensic investigations uv visible spectroscopy is most widely used for detection and analysis of drugs of abuse based upon their absorption maxima it is also found application for determination of alcohol in blood ink analysis which is an important part of forensic study can also be done with the uv visible spectroscopy this spectroscopy is also used for drug overdose studies in body this spectroscopy can also be used for the study of carbon monoxide poisoning by the analysis of carboxy hemoglobin in the forensic blood samples determination of petals in forensic samples can also be done with the uv visible spectroscopy uv visible spectroscopy can also be used to find the age and for analysis of blood stains commonly present at the crime scenes the spectroscopy can be used for the forensic discrimination of the dyed textile fibers uv visible spectroscopy can be used for the quantitative determination of hemoglobin in tooth and bone samples